Okay, so I had a friend who asked if I could show how to foam roll um, right where the hamstring attaches at the pelvis, so underneath those glutes. And I love, I love requests, so I'm happy to show. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about what to roll on and what's my favorite and what you can use. You can always use your foam roller. Um, I grabbed my little one today you could use the big one. It's not my favorite, but it's better than nothing. Um, the orb. So just the little blue, it's the same density, it's the same material as the foam roller. This works great. And it can really get into everything around the pelvis, the hip flexor, um, the tensor fascia lata, it can hit really well. And of course, everything in the glute. So the piriformis, the attachments, and that's what we're gonna hit today. But my favorite rolling tool is the medicine ball. So this is a hard four pound medicine ball. I like the four pound because it's the right height off the floor, but any hard medicine ball will do. Um, so whatever you have, use it, grab it. I'm gonna set these off to the side and I'm gonna start with the roller and show you how to do that first. So sitting with yours, you're sitting right up on it, those glutes right up on it. Um, if you can sit up tall and lean forward, that makes it more intense. So if you're back a little bit, that makes it easier. You get to choose your intensity. Again, the beauty of foam rolling. If you externally rotate your leg, that changes what you hit and also internally rotating the leg. Um, also, if you scoot to the edge of the roller, if that's the only thing you've got, that can make it more intense and kind of get in there a little bit deeper. So try that as well. Okay, I'm going to switch sides. Like I said, definitely better than nothing. If that's all you've got, use it. But I'm going to switch to my favorite here in a second. So yeah, right there. Again, sitting up and leaning forward a bit makes it deeper. And you're breathing, right? You're always breathing into these stretches. Okay, feel that. So I'm gonna switch. Roll that off to the side. Here we go. Up on the ball. Ooh, there it is right away. So again, with the ball, you can hit so much more. You can really get in there where, that you can't do with the foam roller. So move around, roll around until you find that spot. I'm gonna still try to lean forward so that I can make it a little bit deeper and more intense. Wow, I definitely feel that. So from here, I'm slightly internally rotating my leg so that I can hit the right spot of my hamstring there. And I'm just gonna breathe, that's it. Oh, wow. That's it, breathe. Um, because we're all so different, I say this all the time, where I feel it might be different than where you feel it. So stay on wet sore. Find that hot spot and stay there. Um, I'm gonna switch sides. So swinging it around. Oh, yep, there it is again, right there. So again, I like the height off the floor with this. Uh, if you don't have a ball and it's really, really sore, another thing you can use is your lacrosse ball. Um, but you're basically just sitting on the floor with the ball right there at that spot, that insertion, to get it to release. So again, the four pound medicine ball is my favorite. Oh, right there. Oh, ow. And again, because I did the internal rotation on my other leg, I'm gonna do it on this one as well. And it's the same. So both equally sore at that point. Oh, I can feel it on this side. I'm actually rolling over the muscle. It's pretty ropey right there. So trying to stick it can be hard on the ball. Um, if you need to roll around it and try to get the muscle and that fascia around it loosened up first, sometimes that can make it easier to stick those really, really tight spots. Oh, yep, that's it. Rolling it up, ow, oh, so good. 
So I've moved up just a little bit higher. Um, lots of sore stuff going on in the hip. And so good. I know I'm going to feel better. It's that love-hate relationship. And it can be super intense, but I know I'm going to feel better when I'm done. Now to show you that if you go back to the first side, it always feels better. That first initial spot you rolled feels better. I'm going to take you back. So hitting the first side, go to that same spot that was sore, and there it is. So that's better. And what happens is those muscles and the connective tissue start to stretch. You can go deeper and find a new sore spot. And that is why myofascial release is so effective so quickly. Oh, and there it is. There's a new one. Oh, and that I feel refer around, that referral pain. But it's good. We need to loosen the superficial layers to be able to get deeper into what's really, really the issue. And it can take weeks, months, sometimes even years of rolling to really break it up and get that knot gone. But staying consistent, rolling regularly, is what we need to do. There it is, I got it. Oh, ow. So again, think of it melting. Let the ball, let your roller do the work to melt that muscle. And if you can't take it anymore, switch sides. I'm gonna do this one one more time. Oh, there it is. But already better, so I'm, I have to kind of move around a little bit. See if I can find. So now I externally rotate my leg. I turn that foot out. No, I don't feel it. This side's better. Yay! Oh, that's great. So again, I'm going to move more up into my hip and see if I can find anything else. So that hamstring one has melted and moving on to the next one. Go. Remember to always breathe. Enjoy your rolling. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, keep it up. Keep breathing. And until next time, we'll be back.